Hey all, welcome to part two of Smitty talking about himself while watching himself lift stones. So I'm just going to share some other stuff about stones. Let's start with the 160 that I got, which was the, I think I was the first person to lift. This was the Australian record. Look at my ass. Um, this was the Aussie record. Watch this. I've got a story about this too. I've got another, this is just off Instagram. 2018, first under 80 athlete. Oh, different technique, different technique to now. <laughs> um, so that was, I was the first under 80 in Australia to do 160. And for a little while, that was a world record apparently, because I guess people hadn't maxed out in stones or no one had submitted it. I remember someone told me it was a world record for a while, but um, yeah. I don't know if it really was a world record. People just hadn't gone heavy enough or people had done like a stone run and maybe it ended at 159 or something, which is like more impressive. Anyway, apparently it was a world record for a bit, but I was the first under 80 to lift that. But that day I weighed in uh, at 80.0. So Aaron, Aaron's comp, it was okay to weigh in. It used to be you could weigh in at 80.0 and compete under 80, that was fine. But the records, so when Chad was doing the records and ASA, the Australian Strongman Association, um, their records, you had to weigh in 80 or under. So we had these two federations, which we still do, but I think both both sets of rules now, you have to weigh in under your weight category. So it was annoying that record had to go in the under 90s and it's not a record in the under 90s. So it was like the first under 80 to lift a one double body weight stone. But it had to go, it wasn't a record because I wasn't allowed to submit it as an under 80. But it's annoying because I probably weighed in in undies and could have, like I probably was 79.9 and give me another half an hour, I can be 79.9. Anyway, all these things, they just add to why that 170 was so special. Do you get it now? Do you see how that would have been frustrating for me back in fucking 2018, getting a record? Have a look at my... Um, I got so much to say. So my reaction here, I remember I trained for a log PB and a deadlift PB and I got neither. And then I got a stone PB and record. So I was kind of like, when I throw my arms up at the end, I'm surprised. I'm like, there's a second there where I'm like, oh, I got it. Bit leaner than what I am under 80 now. I've put on some chunk, which is cool to see in the back. Um, not sure if I'm in boots. Pro I probably am in boots. I think I'm interlocking my um, fingers here like I do now, sitting a lot lower, and I'm not popping the hips. I'm just squatting it up. I'm not going one, two. I'm just bouncing up. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I was interlocking the fingers. See that second before I realized, I was like, hey, oh, shit, I got it. I've got another angle, all about the angles. This is just off Instagram, just the screen record thing. 681. Instagram's so different. Man, I used to get so many more views and likes and shit. It's just so different. Is it because I posted that I don't like the government once or something? Like, what's going on? Got the boots. It's a pretty close to answer what I do now. So, yeah, things have changed a bit. I think my body's changed a bit. I'm a different color. My hair fell out. Grabbing it about the same, but that's a low pick. Yeah, different technique. And then I'm like, I did it. I think I remember saying, I'm like, hey, I did it. Yeah, it's really surprised. So 2018, that's when I got 160. 2023 is when I got 170. Let that sink in. Five and a half, four and a half years. That's a long time between PBs. And the 165 that I showed you in the last video at Coco's, like it's four, four and a half years to add 10 kilos. I'm not proud of it. I'm not saying you should aim for that. But I mean, if you stay at the same body weight, um, natural, same body weight, yeah, it's going to take a while. Like, you, you're playing around world records here. This is what people can do at my size for now. People will smash it eventually. Um, so there's that. This was my first ever comp. It was a stone series that ended with 100 kilos. I remember I was nervous about it because, you know, my max was maybe 110 at the end of a day, lifting 100. Smashed it. There's a picture of the 160. I've just saved a bunch of pictures here. This was a, this was a different comp. Not the technique I had in mind, but we've got the thing. I think that was a 150 stone. I think I competed under 90. That comp. Ballarat. I tried 170 at this comp as well. Couldn't get it off the ground. I think this might be 140. Atlas stones are like soup, and I'm a fork. 
being shitty at something and getting better at it. So yeah, I don't know if I've ever been shit at it. It hasn't been, I believe I'm designed for it, like um, apart from my height, obviously, but the longer arms, strong ass, pretty good at stones, but not always, not initially. It took a long time to get better at it, and I think I'm pretty obviously good at it now, but it's taken some work. It's not something that has come as natural. Say the monster dumbbell, log 50-50, deadlifts 50 50 like i've had to work i've had to work for the stones um i've included some funny pictures victoria's strongest man i think that was 2018 see 405 likes we used to get back we used to get so much more um interaction 90 kilos to shoulder vic strongest practicing to height for um the one point form 367 fucking hell brutal used to be way more popular practicing to height 110 for height, the strongest 20 something stone to shoulder, which, um, what should I use for the thumbnail? I need to use a funny stone pick. That was a cool comp. That was stone to shoulder, 90 kilos as well. That was just in training. I did stone to shoulder today by chance. How crazy is that? Stone to shoulder, stone to shoulder. Nick B took that pick back at strong Melbourne. It's a good one by Fred Dash. Which one of these? Oh, I don't have a video of this, but this is when I dropped 150 kilos. It looks like my knee should and femur should be and popped out of my hip. It ended up hitting my foot, and it was my foot that, that died. It didn't break somehow. I went and got scans when I got home. This was in Sydney. I needed one rep of this stone to win Australasia's Most Powerful Man 2016. And I missed it because, yeah, just missed it. And I tried to relap it. I almost got it over, and it was so, like... I was so confused that it didn't go over. It started coming back down. I thought I'd just relap it. And I guess I stuffed up. Haven't had a Big Mac in three years. It's a photo shoot before America. So I just got all these stone photos. Which one of these should I use for the thumbnail? That's the original. Uh, first comp, second comp ever. That was a good one. That was Australasia's Most Powerful Man 2015. So I won it that year. I'll just put that in because I'm standing on a stone, I guess. I won it that year. That was this one. It had a stone run, and I think all the 80s boys, we could only manage a stone run up to 110. No tacky on grass. And the under 90s boys, I think like a good score was 120. No tacky, but yeah, we've come a long way. I'm not going to go through all these videos, I don't think, but it's basically me with one, like over the years, back in 2018, I just say like working on height, you can see I've always had to work on height. I have to hold really high up here. I can't be around the hemisphere. Can't be around the middle, um, around the equator, not the hemisphere. I can't be around there. I need it up here so I can pull up. I pull my hands to like a face pull. I pull towards me like that. Have to get good at the tippy toes. So I got pretty good at practicing like that. That was me like the first time I ever picked up the 170, I think. Brutal stuff. Uh, another video I didn't show in the last one was my attempt at 165. Which one's first? So log dead stone in 2021 in the under 80s. This is me going for 165, which would be an Australian record. I think Andy, I was competing against Andy on this day, and he got the 160 and went for this as well. Like there's just heaps of us that have lifted 160. But no one had done a kilo more, so better pick up. Can't remember why I missed this. Freaking baby weights now. See, so yeah, I'm not sitting as low. See, we've got the sleeves on for this one. Big pop. Just fatigued, I guess. Maybe I've had a full day of... I thought I got closer than that. It's not really that close. Full day of competing, so I deadlift 600 pounds that day as well. You ain't going to get that. Just, just give up. Just give up. Maybe that was the second attempt. Is this one closer? Oh. It's like the same angle where Joshy was. Not really close that day. That was the 165, but I don't even lift. I don't think I lifted 160 that day. I skipped 160. Um, these videos are like 160 in training, and one of them is, I think this is a pickup at 170. So one of the last times I attempted it before getting it at this recent comp was May 2021. That's a total lie. I've got other footage of me um, attempting it. So I have to go pretty wide with my stance. Like the main issue is the size of this thing and trying to get it past. So I have to get my elbows. So you see, it's like just past my knee. 
I need to get it about here. I need to get my elbow height about here and then I can roll it in. So what I end up doing, I can't remember if I'd learned it at this stage, but if I raise my hands up a bit higher, put a bit more tacky on, increase my grip and my lats, lat strength and grip, as in squeeze muscles, not forearm muscles, then if I lift my hands up a bit higher, then my elbows are a bit higher automatically. And now say if I lift if, if I lifted my hands up a bit, just like this much, now my elbow is this much higher and I can roll it in. So that's, some, that's a change that I've had to make. And this is where I do the double pump. Watch this. So I go up and then I go down up to come up with some springs. See how it's like a touch and go deadlift, how they're a bit easier. Look how high, look how high that elbow is there. So when I first pull off the ground, I can only get my elbow to about here in relation to my knee. And then I take a breath and then I go down up. <laughs> That's how much of a non-issue like the grip is. I don't even like load up the tacky. And then I struggle with this for ages. This is the 170. This is how not good at it I was a year and a half ago. <laughs> Just give up, Smitsagoff. Just give up. Good effort, mate. Good effort, bro. I got 160 those days. So it's been a battle. Also last year in April, I had a bad back. Um, I hurt myself deadlifting. Oh, I wasn't deadlifting, just hurt myself. This was a 160 attempt at that comp. I think I got 150, yeah. This is a 160 attempt at that comp. And I'm 86, 87 kilos, like heavier, competing under 90. I just had no back. My back, my body did not want to let me do anything. So that's because of a bad back. I've put this picture in here just to show techniques, how high I have to have my hands to be able to lift it higher. So it's a bit of a story. This is funny. I think I've got that on video here. Um, I've just got a bit of a story with the old 170. This is me lifting 160, 2022. I was stoked with this because it was kind of out of nowhere. I hadn't trained stones for a while. Um, 4th of June, 2022. Says 160. And I'd slimmed down a bit, whereas, what, two months prior, April, May, June? Like, I, I hadn't touched stones since this day, April 23, failing 160, and then didn't train stones, had to heal my back and take a step back, and then I got it. So that's why I was stoked with that. Now, this is June 17th, 2022, so how much later? Two weeks later. Now, this is leading into, I believe, my 160 attempt. No, that was 21. The, the 171, where is it? If I'm lost, then you guys are certainly lost. Ah, this one, right? Well, Joshy's one is gone. But that world record 171, to prep for that, I think the week before that, I was trying to just lift 170 off the ground. Take a look at this. I think I'm not in boots too, because I couldn't even get it off the ground. Oh no, I do have boots. Well, that's obviously not. That might be 150 or something. Just dealing with the size. Maybe I jump to 170. Practicing the double pump. This is just me trying to lap 170. Is this where I fall over? So this is how difficult it is or was for me to lift 170. And I'm not saying if I went to the gym right now that I'd be able to do much better than this. It's not every day that I can just lift up 170. But I'm practicing that double pump, trying to learn how to roll backwards, I'm trying different things with my feet, different things with my belt. And this is the way I train. I'll try something 11 times and say, what else can I try? It's not coming off the ground. What else can I try? And I'm not ever expecting to get it because I'm fatigued at this stage. But if I get closer and just learn, what can I learn? There's a the third bloody double pump. I can't believe I'm still going. It looks ridiculous. The coach in me is saying you're an idiot, but the athlete, this is what it takes. This is what I do. That was a good one. So then I'd look at that and be like, cool, what did I do with my chin there? So what does that do touching there? What does that do? The chin's not helping, but what does that do to my spine? You know what I mean? It's the type of stuff you look, type of stuff you got to look for. How come that kind of went higher? Why did I get close there? Not that it matters because I didn't get it. I can't believe how many times I tried. Oh, that was a good one. So my hands aren't touching near the bottom. This must be where I fall over. <laughs> I love it. And then the next week, 
without the shoes. So I took the boots off to try to be a bit lower and then I got it. And then I had no business even trying to load it. But at least I was like, okay, well, without, without the boots, because the boots make you a bit higher, it's like a deficit. So without the boots, I could pull it. And then I got to the comp and just put the boots on anyway. So this was June 20, 2022. You can see picking up the 170 the week before, June or three days before, <laughs> couldn't pick it up. So can you remember that? Can you remember if you can't do something one day, doesn't mean you can't do it a couple of days later or the next week. Can you remember that? Cool. Um, where's the 171? Wasn't that one. And then however long later, why don't I have the 171 on here? The world rec the, the record attempt. Where is it? It's not those two. That's the 165. Getting tired too. Glad I did this now and not later. Thanks for bearing with me, guys, if you've stuck this out. All right, apparently I don't have the 171. Someone's watching this going, it's right there, it's right there. No, no, no. None of them. Ah. <laughs> Six days later, couldn't pick it up on the 17th. Tried 45 times. Boots on, but no knee sleeves. I forgot my knee sleeves that day. Could have got it. Got stuck to the mat there. Didn't need the double pump. Didn't even need the double pump. And look how much closer I get than I did in training. Well, pretty much got it. Pretty much got it. So don't, I'm not saying don't worry. If you can't do something one day, it doesn't mean you can't do it. It's just not there today. And it's okay if it's not there today. There's more for you to learn. The body's protecting itself. It doesn't want you to get into certain positions and hurt yourself. Or it's just destiny for you to do it another day. I can relax. Okay. That doesn't mean you can't try it over and over. I'm not saying just try it once and give up. But if it doesn't go up, it's okay. It will go up unless you're a little weakling, unless you're a little bitch. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was nothing. That's about it, guys. Um, no, I did have something, honestly. 165. I'll show the 170 again. So all that, all those misses, all that training. And then January 21 of 2023. Watch me. Are you watching? Look at this. I don't need a double pump. Boots. Look at this. Straight up just freaking straight up it's just destiny that it was to happen this day okay it's all right that it didn't happen the other days because it happened this day spot on technique one two could have even grinded a second longer couldn't i and then that's a good image i like that one i'm the fucking smallest here easy let's get that on a shirt would you buy a shirt that said i'm the fucking smallest here i would well, guys, thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for listening. I uh, hope you learned a little bit about stones. Maybe you learned a little bit about me. Um, it's good when good things happen. There's just a photo of me lifting a stone. A lot of stone to shoulder. Um, good things happen sometimes. Bad things happen, and we get through them, and we move on. What I learned the most from this stone internally was that what I'm doing is enough to trust myself, and just because I'm not getting congratulated every day or congratulated a lot it doesn't mean that my efforts aren't going unnoticed i don't know if i'm wording that right but i just gotta make sure that i'm living for me and that i'm enjoying what i do because the accolades don't last forever the feeling of feeling amazing doesn't last forever so i enjoy training i love training i love being at the gym i love it training on my own i love when people are there i love when it's a small group i just like it all whatever it needs to be so if you're not enjoying your training but you're thinking i have to grind or work maybe i'm not enjoying work but i got to grind because it'll be worth it when i get this got to grind i'd say just question that just question it because it's not right or wrong there's a time and place to grind. There's a time and place to train when you don't feel like training, to work harder when you're a bit tired and maybe you should rest. There's time for that. But if you're not enjoying it, it as a whole, if you're not enjoying it, move on. Go find something else. The reason I think we enjoy things because we're supposed to do them. If you're good at something, you're going to enjoy it. If you enjoy something, you'll get good at something. And it's a clue that you're doing something that you're supposed to do. If you don't enjoy something, if you don't enjoy drinking something, your body doesn't need it, doesn't want it. If you don't enjoy doing something, it's a clue. Don't do it. If it feels like a grind all the time, I don't think you should be doing it. Thanks for listening. I'm going to uh, post these up tonight. I'll find a good thumbnail. 
out of these. And I'll try another one of these chats every now and then. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you listen to it all or some of it. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Share your thoughts in stone, on, on stones and stone lifting and records. Just give me a bit of chatter, guys. Appreciate you. See ya.